Okay, it's also very sweet, no? Yeah. <laughs> it will be a very sweet interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is how I am, so let's, uh, let's go for it. Okay. Yeah. My name is Julie Moulin, and since 2011, I am second flute of the Concertgebouw Orchestra Amsterdam. So in the first place, I went to Amsterdam to take part in the academy program of the orchestra. Uh, so that was uh, 12 years ago already. And I have a funny story actually because the audition for the academy was two days before my final recital of my uh, studies. In, I studied in Lyon in the conservatoire. Um, so I thought, oh, this audition, I don't even know if I'm going there because my, my recital, it's much more important, my final exam. And, and then my teacher, fortunately, Philippe Bernold, he told me, Julie, are you kidding? Of course you go to this audition. The final exam is nothing. The audition is much more important. So I said, okay. And I went there and I was lucky enough to get it. It appeared that two months later, in November, was a position, uh, an audition for the second flute job in the orchestra. And I was here and sitting on that very chair, actually, and looking around this beautiful hall, these amazing colleagues around the beautiful musicians playing all around me. And I thought, wow, this is what I want to do the rest of my life. And here I am 12 years later. And uh, yeah. My life would have been very different without this little kick of my teacher, so thank you. <laughs> so this is probably the very first concert I ever played. I was six years old and I played for the wedding of my aunt. <laughs> and the flute was a little big for me, I could barely hold it, but... Very serious. <laughs> so being second flute of an orchestra is something quite particular. And when I was a student, I was, I think, more dreaming of being a first flute, of course, because of the solos and being in the spotlights. But now I, I discovered actually how rewarding and how nice uh, it can be also to be second flute. So you are second flute, you don't get to play the solos, but you still have your own part, which is not the case, for example, with the string players. So this is something quite rewarding already. And the nicest part of being a second player, what I like the most, is that you are supposed to support the first player and you have to, so, to adapt the way this person play. And I'm very lucky because I have two amazing first flutists next to me, so it's just an honor to be their second player. And so you, your job is a little bit to be their shadow, um, to adapt to their sound and the intonation also, this is not the easiest part, and uh, to follow them if they do rubato, and that's actually very challenging and not easy, and this I like very much. And the, also the nice part of being second flute is that your voice, uh, let's say it's more in the middle of the music so you are more you're not on the top uh, playing the melody all the time but you are more inside inside the sound inside the music and this I appreciate also very much so yeah I just I can just advertise people students go for second second instrument second flute or second whatever jobs because it's also very nice So besides uh, the normal flute, uh, I also play alto flute in the orchestra. This is a little bit my uh, speciality. Um, so the alto flute is a little bigger than the flute and it's also it also sounds lower. So I can maybe show you the difference. And if I play the same on this bigger instrument, So 
So it has um, this nice warm lower sound which I like very much and uh, I'm lucky enough to play a beautiful alto flute which was made uh, especially for the orchestra by a, a Dutch maker Eva Kingma and she makes really beautiful low flutes and uh, yeah I'm in love with this instrument and it's really warm and beautiful low sound. I'm also teaching, so I'm a teacher in uh, Code Arts. This is the conservatory in uh, Rotterdam. I really enjoy the, this teaching part of my, um, uh, of my life. For me, teaching is very enriching and very interesting because, of course, you not only have the, um, uh, the pleasure to yeah, transmit and, and communicate and share what you know, what you've learned, and, uh, but you also actually learn a lot from this process of teaching. Um, well, because the, the students, they would just ask you, but why do you do like this? And then you have to think, wait, um, and you actually have to deepen a lot your vision and your, yeah, your playing. And uh, so this is also, yeah, I learn a lot from my students every day. So, and it's cost a lot of energy, but you also get a lot of energy. So that's really nice. <laughs> 